about the uh, the GitLab, you know, the Pulse Chain code on uh, GitLab, so people can take a look and see how they can uh, add improvements. Um, so Richard's got a. Let me zoom in here, and I'll try and uh, zoom it in just a little bit better. Let me make sure everyone can still see the screen. Okay, good. Okay, so Pulse Chain mainnet minimum viable product. So the first thing is testnet. That's the most important. So got to get going on that testnet. Obviously not rushing anyone, but um, that is what their first priority is. Second one is go.hex.com, working with PHEX, which is in progress right now. And I've uh, had this conversation with other people that have asked in the past. So, I mean, currently go to go.hex.com, you connect your MetaMask. And then uh, with Pulse Chain, what Richard's talked about is that most likely there will be like a little toggle or you know, something that, that's apparent of like hex on Ethereum or hex on Pulse Chain. And then you can kind of click it and then, you know, configure the MetaMask and, and have both of it on the same website. So I think that's really good to keep the brand, which is hex in general, um, whether it's on Pulse Chain or whether it's on Ethereum, all within the same site. So I think that's good. Uh, step three, bridges. So Ethereum bridges, and then, uh, so Ethereum to Pulse Chain, and then large ERC-20 bridges to Pulse chain as well, or from Pulse chain to those, whatever you want to call it. So Uniswap version two front end for Pulse chain. We have this at ethex.com already, and we can rename a copy. I like it. Yeah, ethex.com is great. Uh, so many people, especially with like, you know, Uniswap. You go to use Uniswap, and it's like, oh, okay. Back in the day, you had to like manually put in the contract code, and then it would tell you that. This is like a suspicious contract that might be a scam. And it's like, man, quit fighting the people that are just trying to get some packs, man. So the next one is uh, Block Explorer. It says Block Scout for now. Hopefully Etherscan guys later. Cool. So once that's done, post minimum viable product, we've got trading. So they're going to have a fork of, pan uh, fork of pancake swap, which is going to be pancake swap itself as a fork of Uniswap with uh, liquidity, you know, providing rewards. It says insanely important liquidity provided rewards for ERC-20 and PRC-20 pairs. So we're just gonna go through this list, go through the other stuff, say what's up to the chat and kind of have a little stream there. So coin ranking site for PRC-20s, wallet, replace MetaMask, a Uniswap, but across chains. I think that that's a amazing technology and, and breakthrough and when that happens, not if it happens, but when that happens, I think you're going to uh, see a lot of adoption. I mean, we really do live in a cross-chain and multi-chain world, not just a one chain. So to be able to bridge over and cross over and swap over between chain to chain, um, I think it's very important. So Uniswap out across chains, yep. More bridges to start than Bitcoin, BNB, BCH, in that order, great. Network, so port to... Irigon from Geth. I remember Richard talking about that, and he had actually talked about that even that port can add like a four times throughput increase, which is, I'm pretty sure if that's the same thing he was talking about, it's like a 4x uh, throughput increase. So that's freaking awesome. Uniswap v3 front end. Stablecoin. This is exciting. Stablecoin from my exchange I'm making. So yes, Richard has announced it publicly. I think I might even have a clip, but he, um, yeah, he's applied for a exchange license. I think it's going to be in the, the UK area based. So not for uh, US citizens yet, but sounds like he might have something going on with the, the Harvard guys that may or may not be working on that. Aggregator replace one inch.io, market orders and limit orders. The next one, margin trading. That'll be exciting. I'll uh, definitely be excited. And then uh, tornado.cash, we have Hexnado already can modify. 